Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. This is the casual construction side series from our main Let's Play series where uh, we do approximately hour-long episodes of mostly just building and um, off-camera types of things. This is an unedited series. Again, they're about hour-long videos. So just giving you that heads up. If you're not interested in watching this type of a video, I do have a normal Let's Play going on that is uh, in conjunction with uh, this series. And check that out on the channel. Okay, let's go ahead and pick up right where we left off. It's only been a few seconds, in fact. Um, well, maybe a minute or so <laughs> in real time since I left in the last episode. And we're just going to keep working on our tunnel here. And we're also going to, um, in just a little bit, when the when the daylight comes, uh, go back over towards the main road. And we have a, a bit of a, a depression in the ground that we have to fill in with some dirt to bring our road up so that it's level. So what we're doing now is we're just working on um, a road to our new build site, which we found uh, in our Let's Play series, uh, which I'm really... Uh, uh, you know, thrilled about because it's just got an awesome view, you know, up on top of a mountain kind of thing. And uh, so our first order of business is to build a road to that location off of the main road. <clears throat> and when I say main road, I'm still talking about just a gravel road, uh, you know, that the random gin generated. So that's what we're about. So, yeah, this is just a casual, unedited, hour-long episode series. Um, less dialogue, or I guess I should say monologue, uh, than a normal Let's Play 2, so there will be periods of not a whole lot of talking, uh, but it's just casual and we're having fun, and, you know, normally I would do stuff like this just off camera, but I thought I would go ahead and, and put it on camera just for any of you who want to wanna watch what I'm doing and just kind of check it out. Um, it's, it's, it's almost kind of more like in a, as a live stream format, really. Uh, we did talk a little bit about live streaming in the last episode, too, and it is my tentative plan to uh, start up my Twitch channel again. It's been on hiatus for several months, um, in fact, almost for the entire uh, year of 2020, not so much because of COVID, but because of um, uh, another in real life uh, family medical issue that we've been dealing with here in my household. But I um, if all goes well, um, I expect to hopefully start live streaming again here in not too long from now. I, I don't want to give an exact date, but I'm thinking, you know, late fall, maybe early winter. Um, so we'll see. It's uh, October the 4th right now. So hopefully not not too, too far out from now. Okay, so let's do another layer of dirt here. And we're going to throw back another Java. Let's eat another uh, can of Spam, too, just because this does consume our food. Um, and actually, if we if we take a tea, that will help slow down the food and water consumption. We don't really need to worry about the water so much because we're taking coffee, but for the food. So yeah, we're um, we're just uh, having some casual building in this episode. We just got a level in the last uh, casual episode, casual construction episode, <laughs> and uh, we put that into sexual tyrannosaurus. So it's definitely making a difference. We're not running out of stamina quite as quickly as we were before we took it, uh, with you know having to mine and stuff by hand. Oh, looks like we're going to we're getting into some kind of a deposit here cuz we have the gravel and it's nitrate. All right, that's cool. We could potentially do like a little um side branching mine uh, out of the tunnel in, in, into that nitrate deposit cuz we need we do need to mine some nitrate. We need to mine gunpowder stuff, so we need coal and nitrate. We need to mine more iron itself and lead. So pretty much everything. In uh, two episodes ago, and well, in the last let's normal let's play series episode, we I mined up a bunch of um, oil shells, so we got gasoline cooking up back at the base in town there. I'm not gonna do anything about the nitrate for now. We'll worry about that later. If even if we do anything at all in this particular spot, we'll see. 
Okay, so it is daylight. Let's go ahead and take a break from our tunnel. Uh, it probably isn't going to be too much longer before we, we break out the other side there. And we need to... I thought I heard a Zeke over that way. Um, we need to fill in some uh, some spots over here, too. And let's get all these frames picked back up. Get the frames up first, and then we'll work on filling in the dirt. Okay, so we just have to basically fill in this little spot here. And we have 75 dirt made up. That might not be enough. We'll just see uh, see how it goes. Hmm, thought I heard a Zikaroo. Zikarooski dooski. Okay. Sometimes when you do this, it doesn't even out very nicely, but that's actually not too bad. In fact, that's actually really good. <laughs> you know, we might, it might not be a bad idea to go a little wider here. Uh, we don't really, I don't think we need to go any wider on this side, but what we could do on this side is just raise the ground with some frames. But the other side, we should probably widen, make it a little wider, just because if you know if I turn, don't quite turn correctly, we could. I don't want to run into the ditch. So that should be fine there. Okay, yeah. Let's. Uh, we actually have plenty of dirt for this. I'm gonna have to go too high there. That we can fix with a frame. Yeah, I think that's good because it's a little bit, you know, wider entrance to when we're coming up the hill, you know, so we can turn on in there without having to worry about going in the ditch. So let's just level this out with some frame action here. And I think that's good. I think that's just what the doctor ordered. I don't want I don't want to mess with that because I'll probably screw it up and make it worse than it already is. Not that it's that bad. The one thing about having such a narrow, <laughs> narrow road is it does make it a little harder to turn around. Uh, but you know that won't really matter once it's done because we'll just shoot through the other side and if we have to turn around we'll turn around on the other side. Uh, okay, good. Making progress, guys. Making progress. And we still have some dirt left over, which I'm sure we're going to need plenty of it. Let's eat another sham. Okay. Okay. And we will continue cutting away our tunnel here. I imagine we will eventually come across the steel tools schematic. Which will be awesome. We already have a steel axe that we found. 
few episodes back. Even though it's a level one, it's still better than the iron tools, pretty much. At least in terms of actual block breakage, you know. Oh, let's throw back a red tea also for the digestion buff. Okay, back to some shovel work here. One of the things I've always liked about this game is sometimes it's just therapeutic to dig. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's just me, but just to kind of chill and not have to think too much about anything and just dig. I'm, I like doing this as long as, you know, the digging is, there's a goal at bind. As long as we're trying to accomplish something in the process of doing the digging. You know, whether it be gathering resources and or building something that sort of thing. One time when I was a little boy, I don't know, probably in grade school, uh, I went out into the backyard and, you know, we had a big garden in the backyard and I just dug a bunch of holes just because I don't know why I did it. <laughs> it was just kind of, you know, fun to dig. So anyway, my dad, you know, found out about it and he says, okay, well, if you like to dig so much, then I want you to to go, he, he had me go did do some kind of actual work digging. I can't remember what it was at the moment. But uh, anyways, it was kind of funny. Eh, so you, since you like to dig so much, so that kind of, maybe that's why I like to dig so much in this game. There aren't too many survival games out there at this point in time that are better than this game when it comes to, you know, uh, the voxels and shaping the land and that sort of thing. Probably the closest one that, you know, that I play similar to this would be Imperion, but Imperion's not, you know, Imperion's different in some ways than Seven Days is. And in good ways, you know, they're both good. They have their strong, strong points and their not so strong points in comparison with one another. I think Empyrean has much, much better building tools than uh, Seven Days to Die does. But I just like the, you know, the way it works now. So, for example, you know, when I'm digging this block, it actually shows the block, you know, diminishing as we take material away from it, that kind of thing. It's just really cool. It's just very realistic. And in Imperion, you use an actual drill um, to, to drill stuff. And in that, I think, I can't remember for sure, but I think in that game, it doesn't really show the, um, you know, the material diminishing. It just takes out a big chunk when it's done kind of thing. 
So it's a little less realistic from that standpoint. I love both of these games, though. Seven Days and Imperium. There we go. That took a while for us to run out of stamina. Okay, let's get back to um, rock mining for a bit now. We're going to have a nice little supply of stone for making... Uh, Concrete for Horde Night 21. Uh, it is day 19, so we still have a few days left. We don't have to worry about that quite yet, but we do, do need to start thinking about worrying about it. Take some red tea and throw back another chamois so we don't get too terribly hungry. Okay, let's do it. This tunnel's actually longer than I thought it was going to be. Kind of glad I decided to do it this way, though, because then, you know, then we don't obstruct the view so much from the house when we look out towards the west. We'll see, you know, we'll see the tunnel entrance, but we won't see like a big ditch cut in the side of the mountain kind of thing. Oh, what I wouldn't give for an auger right now. We can go fairly long uh, doing stone, too, before we run out of stam with our coffee and everything else. Pretty good. It's definitely manageable. I see dirt up ahead, which means we're on this layer, which means we're, we're going to start breaking out on, uh, of the other side here pretty soon. Yeah, that's dirt, so... Not too much longer. And we'll be coming out that side. But yeah, this tunnel's a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Uh, which is a good thing. Because, you know, more resources and whatnot. Okay, let's wait for our stamina to come back. It's going to be a little higher on this side than this side because of the way the dirt is. Oh man, you know what? I should have checked to see if I had another Rock Busters. That's okay, though. I think I'd rather save that for actual ores that we mine. We'll cut all the way back until the the stone ends or we get to the dirt wall. Which is just right about here, looks like. It goes back one more. That could be dirt there. 
All right, you know what we're going to do, guys? Let's go, let's run back down to town. And uh, let's get this stone cooking up for concrete. So, let's see, we want... Oh, shit. Don't hit me, darling. Let's just kind of go down through this little draw here. So it, it's rough coming down through here, but it's not really, really bad. Like some of the terrain can be. But I, I suppose, you know, I suppose once we fully move to this location, we may not come this way a lot anyway, so probably not that big of a deal. We'll see, though. It never gets old. <laughs> it just never gets old. the new stripper she's jiggly she doesn't really some people have said she looks more like a prostitute than a stripper I don't know okay so I don't think we have anything in here we have to unload do we we do have one rock presses, but like I said, I think I want to save that for actual ore mining. Okay, so we've got uh, 200 cement in there. So let's do this. Concrete mix. So we can get 200 of those going. So we have 1,279 uh, sand. <clears throat> uh, so let's see if we can get... No, that's not what I want to do. Let's see if we can get our pile of stone close to that. Yeah, that's close enough. 1,200, 1,200. Okay. Now what we need to do is divide our remaining stone. <clears throat> well, no, we, we want to... We want about 1,200 stone-ish uh, made into cement. So let's get that going, and then we'll kind of try and more or less evenly divide the rest of the stone without doing too much math, because math hurts my head. Okay, so... <clears throat> excuse me. So we've got roughly 1,200 stones worth of cement in there, and we have roughly 1,200 stone and crushed sand there. So how do we divide the rest of this, like, three ways? Okay, and then... So that's four. I mean, you know, it doesn't have to be perfectly divided, but I'd like it to be relatively close. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll <clears throat> add that to the cement. We will add that to the stone. And we will turn this into crushed sand. <clears throat> That'll get us close. Close enough. Okay. Let's put those two stacks of clay in there. And I don't know how much clay do we have in here. Yeah, let's not feed any more clay into that forge because we're going to end up picking it up when we move. And I don't want to lose, you know, a ton of resources in doing that. Uh, that doesn't go there. Those two things go there. We'll keep the dirt with us. Uh, put that stuff there. You know what? We can make two bacon and eggs. Let's do that. Oops. OK, 
Okay, those two things go in there. These go in here. That goes in there. This goes in here. Let's do a sort. Gotta love that inventory management, eh? Cloth goes in here, too. Okay, I think that gets us all up to snuff. Let's drink. Yeah, we'll save that. We'll save that. Top off. Let's top off our red tea stack. And we still have five chamois too, but this bacon and eggs will last us quite some time. It'll take one of those to get us back, you know, to full food. And maybe a little bit then some. But I think we're okay on that. All right, how's this going? Look at that gasoline. Oh, it's a beautiful sight. It is a beautiful sight. So we're just going to put um, all of that up in here for now. And let's grab these two things. Put the iron in there and the ammo in here. Yeah, so we... We need lead. That's what we're that's what we're kind of short on at the moment. Okay, so that actually we didn't get as much food from that bacon and eggs as I thought we would, so we're gonna have to eat the other one too. And maybe we'll take what's this give? Those only give five. I wanna hang on to that for fish tacos. So let's grab three cans of uh, lamb ration as well. We could even stop by the trader and buy some more food. What time is it? 9.30 in the morning? Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's actually go sell this stuff too. I've got nine repair kits. Um, so we'll make five more. So we pair that, 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 and this. Okay. Do a little selling here, buy a little food. Well, well, another survivor. I hope you got money. Okay, so that gets us out to 4,100 coin. Have you restocked? Uh, I think you have. Each successive leg shot on the same target increases chance to crimple, cripple by 10%. Um, <clears throat> I want that. Grandpa's awesome sauce recipe. That gives us the, uh, the selling bonus. Okay, that's all he's got. He's got 31 forged steel, which we might consider buying too. Uh, let's check, see what else he's got. What has he got for just, ooh, 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 ooh. That's something we need. It's an orange one. Which kind of sucks because there's only one mod slot, but hey, got a yellow AK too. <sighs> I think we need to buy that, you guys. I really do. I think we need to buy that. Let's just look at. He's got another Kim bench too. Well, we don't have enough money, but I don't think we need two Kim benches right at the moment. Just want to kind of look at everything he's got. Machine gun parts, AK gunpowder. The scope. Um, we want that for our rifle. I'm going to grab this advanced bellows too because those are kind of rare. Okay, yeah, let's buy this. Oh no! <laughs> I don't have enough money now. Ah, oh, crap, I wasn't paying attention. 
Um, all right. So, crap. What are we going to do now? I don't know that I have anything else I want to sell. Okay, well, here's here's the thing. Um, he restocks on day 22. It's 19. So, bad after all. so what I might do is come back here uh, during the normal Let's Play series episode um, after we do, like, another quest. And, um, you know, then we'll have enough money to buy that. So, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Because we don't need it right this second. Okay, we're going to put the scope on here. So we actually have a scope on our sniper rifle now. It's just a 2 by but it's better than open sights. Okay, so we got that. Uh, we're just going to save this because we will eventually make a second forge at least, if not even more than that. And uh, I think that's it, right? I think that's it. Ah, I should have bought the damn shotgun first, though, really. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, oh, you know what we could do? Does that give us enough money to buy it now? Thirty. No, because ah, oh, shit. Still not quite enough. What if we sold? No. Mm. No, that's not going to be enough. Quit we do have back at the base. We have some extra AKs and stuff that we could sell. I think we really just should get this now because otherwise I might forget and it could be a while before we have another opportunity to get a pump. So yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So let's go to tools and weapons. Um, we could even just sell this because I already have one and I'm not terribly impressed with them anyway. Uh... I don't want to save these for parts. We could sell that too. Don't really care about that so much. And then let's look at parts. Don't care about stun batons. Uh, probably will not be making a hunting rifle anytime soon. Don't really care about robotics parts so much. Or steel knuckles. Or steel spear. But we do want, I think I want to hang on to everything else that's in here. And, uh, just try to think what else we would do. Yeah, okay. That should give us enough bank to buy that. Let's repair these two things, too. They're definitely going to be worth repairing. And we still have the sugar butts buff going on. There we go. Now we got enough bank to buy this. So here we go. All right, look at us and our bad selves, you guys. We've got ourselves well, a pump shotgun, finally. Bought something. Ah, shut up. Okay, what's the magazine on this? It is seven. So I don't know that we need to keep two double barrels. I mean, you know, that's four shots versus seven, but we get that slot that we could put something else in there. Um, what do we have modded on here? So we got the hunter and a cripplum, and this has a laser sight. I think uh, until we, oh, you know what? We can we can craft a tube mod, can't we? I just remembered that. We found this. That's what we need to put on here. Okay. Yep. That decides it. Um, the question now though is, should I sell these? I mean, look at the money we would get from that sucker, especially with the mods on it. I don't think we better do that. We better wait until we make our ultimate, you know, shotgun first. 
to make sure we have enough parts. And we don't want to think about doing that until we get to level 4 in uh, sh shotgun skill. Um, and then, of course, we still need the schematic for either the pump or the the auto auto shotgun, which is a beast. It's an absolute beast. We used it quite a bit in the in the uh, experimental series. Okay, so we're just gonna hang on to these guys. No, not that. Uh, to these guys for now. Put the mods back in here. And yeah, let's make the tube mod. So what do we need for that? Iron glue, mechanicals, and springs. Iron glue, uh, mechanicals, and springs. There we go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm putting this in the wrong place. Let's go here. A place for everything and everything in its place. Okay, so we'll wait uh, for the tube mod before we replenish our shotgun shells so we can have a full stack. Let's top those back off too. But here again, we don't have any lead, so we can't make any more 762s at the moment. Probably what I'll do is on day... Probably, yeah, probably day 20-ish, maybe halfway through the day or whatever, we'll stop uh, with our building endeavors and <clears throat> start preparing for the Horde Knight, so, which means we need to do a bunch of mining, essentially. Let's check this. And get it going on cement production. And there's our tube mod. Oh, man, this is awesome. Okay. So modify, stick that sucker on there. And now we have a total of 10. 10 rounds in the chamber. It's a beautiful thing, you guys. It's a beautiful thing. And then we'll have a full stack there. And we freed up another slot, too. Uh, so for now, we're going to move... Uh, the tack over, we'll move the sniper over, and we can just keep, you know, these three tools on our toolbar for now, you know, while we're doing construction stuff, but then while we're doing building or, uh, well, I guess construction and building is kind of the same thing, but, or POIs, we can keep a hammer, an axe, and, and an axe, or, or replace the shovel rather with a hammer. So we always have the hammer to do repairs and still have the axe and the pick out for breaking stuff. So that should work good. I'm not really using archery enough uh, to keep that on the toolbar all the time yet. I really like that they gave us extra toolbars. That's freaking awesome. Oh, beautiful. Pump shotgun. Pump shotgun. I'm pumped for the pump shotgun. All right. Are we done here? <clears throat> Excuse me. I think, uh, I think we are. Let's just queue up a little bit more of that, and we're going to let that go. We've got... About 30 minutes of burn time, which mm, it might need that much. We'll see. And then you're just making sand for us in preparation for cement. Okay, good deal. While we're here, I'm going to just throw back a can of soup stock. Just to get our food topped all the way back off. And let's take this yucca. Delicious. There's just something yummy about cactus juice. Um, I don't think we need to take our bank with us. We'll just leave it here for now. Alrighty, let's go. Back to the build site. Let me let me know uh, how you guys are liking this. Uh, casual construction series it's a little different you know because it's longer there's no editing little less action but uh, let me know if you're enjoying it and you know I'll do a few episodes of this and then we'll just kind of see how it does on the channel you know if I get like five views then I'm not gonna keep doing it <laughs> but you know if we get if we get uh, a decent amount of views then we can keep it going we'll just see how it goes I'm I'm uh, 
I'm pretty stoked about this spot that we found, though. Wait, I don't think that's where we want to go. I think we want to go up this way. Let's take a look. Oh, no, that was where we wanted to go. Uh, okay, well, that's all right. We'll just go... We'll just go around this way. We just don't want to get into the really, really bad, rough terrain. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? Let's just get back out on the highway. And we'll kind of come around this side and then we'll go up straight up the mountain. So we're actually over on this peak here. Come on, you can do it. Come on, old motorcycle. There we go. Okay, so we're going to be breaking out here any minute. So let's just leave our bike up here, maybe. Uh, level this out just a little more too just for the hell of it oh 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 <laughs> oh no are you shitting me <laughs> oh crap well so <laughs> so much for our tunnel oh man that sucks that really sucks. <sighs> oh, crap. Well, I suppose we could f fix fix it maybe by putting an actual uh, woodblock ceiling on it and then covering it with dirt. Oh man, that's too bad though that that happened. I didn't wasn't expecting that to happen. Obviously. Shit. All right, well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to just, we're going to keep going with the dig. And then, I don't know, shit. <laughs> it really sucks. Yeah, it really sucks. Um, yeah, I mean, let's, let's keep going with the roadway for now. And I might actually do that. Like I said, uh, later on. You know, we can we can cover this back up with frames and then put dirt over the top of the frames. And kind of, you know, kind of create an artificial rooftop. But that's too damn bad that that happened. That sucks. Okay, well, here's what it is. Uh, so let's get all this crap cleaned up. And uh, we're going to take a, a coffee and a red tea. And we might wait on the food for just a little bit here. Ah, oh, well. Shit happens, right? Shit happens. What we might do, too, is... I mean, let, let's get the road done, and then we'll go back up on the hilltop where the house is going to be and just kind of look out this way and see... You know, we'll just check it out. I mean, it might even be, you know, from the angles and stuff that we won't even see it at all, but I kind of doubt that. drink in real life. That's good. Watermelon flavored water. Yeah, it just never occurred to me that that would collapse like that. But 
I guess it's better to find out about it now than later, right? It was just, uh, there's really probably only one layer, one or two layers of dirt there, and it was just was didn't have enough SI to hold itself up after we made another modification to it. We are certainly going to have a buttload of clay <laughs> by the time this is all said and done. That's good, though. We'll feed it into the forges. Okay, I think that more or less gets us caught up. I'm going to I'm not going to break that intentionally. Let's just leave it there for the moment, but it might actually come down on its own anyway. We'll see. I did read that uh I think it was the mining magazine where we take less damage from you know falling uh, blocks. So, we got hurt just a little bit there, but not enough to really to worry too much about. It. Trying to think of what the house is going to look like. I'm just <clears throat> mulling over some basic design ideas in my head. Looks like we need to repair this guy. Uh, I'm not planning on building, like, something humongous. Um, something a little, you know, nice and little quaint mountain cabin kind of idea, but something more than just a shack, though, too, you know? place we can call home, come and kick up our feet after a day of zombie slain, and just relax in the beautiful mountains. That's the idea. Anyway. I don't know if this is going to hold up. Well, yeah, there's not much point because we're already breaking through anyway. Yep, there it comes. Yeah, I kind of thought that wasn't going to hold up, but I don't know that I would have left it anyway because it looks stupid. Without the, you know, the rest of the tunnel roof there. So now the plan is going to be is we just keep digging straight ahead until we get... Um, we're at elevation 109 actually here, so we're going to have to go up two blocks worth to get to the approximate level of the the valley floor. So when we get to about two blocks worth, then we're going to have to figure out, or I'll probably just make some 22 degree ramps out of wood for that. It's going to make the most sense, I think, because it's just too difficult to try and shape the dirt at a nice smooth slope.
Okay, so this is this is 111 here. So we'll we'll shave off this this little part, <clears throat> and then uh, yeah, probably put some slopes in there. Hey, we can keep the little juniper tree there. We won't won't cut it down if we don't have to. Just adds to the charm of the place. We'll harvest all the uh, cotton and chrysanthemum in front of us because we can, of course, use that. Yeah, we need to take this down too. Take another coffee, another red tea, and we'll throw back a uh, lamb ration. Okay, let's take a look at the block situation. So we still have one more, basically one more to go before the blocks start to go down there. Yeah, okay. Nope, missed that one. And that one too. All right, now we're going to be done digging for a little while. And now what we're going to need to do is uh, use blocks to level out the ground. But before we do that, let's grab our knife. And let's harvest up all this cotton and chrysanthemum. And we got some coal over there too. I use the knife for doing this because it's actually a faster attack than punching. A little bit more wear and tear on the knife, but so what? Who cares? Just repair it when it's when it wears out, right? Okay, so um let's do this. I'm gonna put these blocks here. And then we're just gonna start going backwards and putting down the blocks until uh, the ground starts to raise again. And then once we get to that point, we'll figure out what the next course of action is. Got another stone there. Hopefully, um, 
we luck out, we'll be able to get all the way to the base of the mountain without having to do any more digging. I don't think that's going to happen, though, but we'll see. Yeah, because it's starting to raise up again here a little bit. Yeah, so it raises up here. <clears throat> okay, so let's think about this for a minute. If we're coming along in our vehicle, and our house is going to be up that way, we're going to pull up through here. But the idea was that we would have like a you know a little tunnel or a garage to go, then underneath the house. The thing is, though, is we don't really want to have a big cavern underneath the build site because that can cause SI problems too. Um, yeah, see, that doesn't look good. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to try and fix that with frames. I just don't like that. Oh, well, I think, you know, we're probably just going to have to cut back into the ground because I don't want another, uh, I don't want to raise it up again. At least I don't think I do. Maybe we should do that next and just kind of see what it looks like. Okay. So what we want to do here is let's get uh, our shapes. And we are looking for the ramp wood frame wedge block. I think that's what we want. We're going to have this little gap here, but it's just the way this game works. Can't do anything about it. Maybe we can put some plates in there. I don't know. We'll see. And I'll, I'll actually upgrade these at least to cobblestone too. Um, okay, so then we're going to go here and we need the tips. To go in like this and that gives us a you know a 22 degree incline which is far better than a 45 still kind of steep and not super steep and yeah let's uh let's go back this way and let's get our plates wood plates Uh, it just kind of give us a bit of a lip there, but it's still better than the the big gap that otherwise we're going to have, right? Let's make ourselves some cobblestone. I don't know, maybe a couple hundred? Whoops. Oh, we, we don't have any stone on us, darn it. We left all the stone back at the base. Crap. <laughs> Um, all right. What are we going to do about that? I suppose we could mine up a little bit of nitrate. We need to do that anyway. So we can have like a little uh, branch coming out of the, the tunnel going off this way into a, a nitrate mine. We got to keep this part level though. So if we uh, take this out, we'll need to replace it with some dirt blocks so it stays level. Yeah, I know we probably have enough stone now, but let's just cut into this a little bit here.
Okay. And then, um, yeah, I'll worry about that later. Okay, now let's make about 200 cobblestone. And we're going to want our hammer. We'll get these upgraded while we're waiting for that. we could do something better with that but I don't know what else we would do let's look at those shapes again if we had like a a really really thin plate you know that was like tapered on one end kind of thing would be useful but I don't think that's available to us so wood plates probably the best we're gonna be able to do on that Okay, well, that's what it is, that's what it is. Okay, got another level. All right, let's see, what should we do with that? Um, I think we should... We could put another point in sexy tea, and if we did that, we probably wouldn't need coffee at all. Though, don't we have the bonus, the mining bonus with coffee? Uh, where would you, where do we find that at? Here. Art of mining. Yeah, harvest 10% more ore when buzz from coffee. So, for that reason alone, it behooves us to continue using coffee. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's just keep, let's get back to focusing on getting our strength... Uh, up so we're gonna take that and then is this a two-pointer yeah so so we'll get uh six strength six after we have two more points that will give us an effective seven which will then allow us to get maximum 69 or mother load and we'll be able to seven yeah we'll be able to get a uh, shotgun master four too which means we can then make blue level shotguns once we have schematics so i think that's what we'll do and then, you know, I, I might throw one at least one more point into Sexy T. We'll see how things go. And then probably wouldn't hurt to put one or two more into Skull Crusher too. but we'll see. Okay. Where's our motorcycle? That's not too bad. It'll bottom out a little bit, but there's nothing we can do about that. You know, if we wanted to really get fancy schmancy, <laughs> we could pave the whole thing all the way back. I might actually do that. I might actually do that. Now that I think about it, that could look really cool. So it's like a cobblestone road, you know? Didn't even that hadn't even occurred to me until I just now considered doing that. Maybe not down there, but maybe on this part. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not gonna do it right now. I definitely not gonna do it right now, but we'll keep that in mind. Alright guys, well we are out of time for this episode. So I'm gonna let you go here. Probably the next recording that I will do will be the next normal Let's Play episode. And uh, so if you guys join me for that, we'll... Let's see, it's day 19, so yeah. We'll, we'll probably do another episode of, of questing, and then after that, then it's going to be, you know, some mining and getting uh, prepared for uh, Horde 21. So it might be a little while. It might be after Horde 21 before we get back to 
uh, our construction here on our new base. So we'll just kind of have to see th how things go. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.